Hello, everybody. It is February 6th. Um, I was listening to a video on uh, Revelation End Times where he was speaking about the uh, America. You know, where it says, where is America in the in the end time revelations? Well, let me see. Anyhow, he pointed out a couple of good things to me that I really liked seeing. And uh, one of them being on the back. If you look on the back of this, there's 13 layers on the back of that pyramid, okay? And then if you go over here and you look at the eagle, there's 13 stripes. There's 13 stars. There's 13 olives and olive leaves. And there's 13 arrows. Okay, so 13 is on here a lot on the back of this with that all seeing eye. Now, this comes out of Egypt, okay, with 13. And I think on our flag, we have 13. Um, stripes even now the thing that really gets to me on this because uh i was like i said i was read i was listening to the uh revelations end time and i'll include that video in uh, at the end of this in the description box you guys listen to it it's very very interesting because this is something that we don't hear much about at all. I mean, never. Who talks about it? See, and uh, this is kind of like a Bible study. This guy really will open your eyes like food for thought, give you something to think about in there. You know, where America is, we could see it cut, tumbling down now, can't we? But anyhow, if you go to Genesis chapter 48, where it says, Jacob blesses. Joseph's sons. Remember when he thought not to ever see Joseph again in Egypt? I talk about that a lot because uh, Joseph, because he spent seven years in the dungeon and he got out of prison when he predicted the Pharaoh would have seven years of plenty and seven years of famine. There's the three sevens. Now, what have we been seeing here in America a lot? The three sevens. Our housing, uh, the stock market, when it crashed in 2008, it was 777. That uh, flight, Indonesia flight, that disappeared, they found a wing of it. They said the number on that wing was 777. Um, this photo that I'm showing all the time, you guys should know it quite well by now, it was taken in... 77 when I was 17 and you see the angel above my head blowing the trumpet okay there's a bathtub above it with the white horse it's where we must be washed with the blood of Christ okay now I hope you guys could see it all right they got the sun shining this way but uh getting back to uh Chapter 48 in Genesis, and this is in the Old Testament, okay? A lot of this stuff, it's all tied in together. We just have to, um, that's why you were supposed to be studying the Bible, um, because there's a lot of it that'll take us to where we are today. Everything that you see then, it reflects on everything that's going to be happening, okay? Everything. Okay, now here we are in chapter 48. Go to verse 13. Okay, then I'm going to read it all the way through 20. And Joseph took them both, Ephraim and in his right hand, towards Israel's left hand. See, now this was important. Now, the reason why he took Ephraim to his left hand and Manasseh to his right hand is because Manasseh was the older of the two, okay? And you, they always wanted their eldest son to be blessed first. Well, here we go. Ephraim in his right hand towards Israel's left hand. 
and Manasseh in his left hand towards Israel's right hand. And Israel stretched out his right hand and laid it upon Ephraim's head, who was the younger, and his left hand on Manasseh's head, guiding his hands wittingly, for Manasseh was the firstborn. And he blessed Joseph and said, God before whom my fathers, Abraham, Isaac, did walk, the God which fled me all my way, all my life long unto this day. The angel which redeemed me from all evil blessed the lads and let my name be named on them. And the name of my fathers, Abraham and Isaac, and let them grow into a multitude in the midst of the earth. And when Joseph saw this, his father laid his right hand upon the head of Ephraim. It, it, it displeased him. And he held up his father's hand to remove it from Ephraim's head and to Manasseh's head. And Joseph said unto his father, Not so, my father, for this is the firstborn. Put thy right hand upon his head. And his father refused and said, I know it, my son, I know it. He also shall become a people, and he also shall be great. But truly, his younger brother shall be greater than he, and his seed shall become a multitude of nations, a multitude of nations. And he blessed them that day, saying, In thee shall Israel bless, saying, God make thee as Ebram, and as Manasseh, and he set Ephraim before Manasseh. You see, and then with all those 13, see, I believe America is the, because uh, see, we used to stand over Israel. We used to watch over Israel, and now we don't. It's like we turned our back on them, huh? Um. This is very, very interesting. But anyhow, I wanted to give you guys that. Some food for thought. And, uh... See what's going on here. And, uh... I'm going to probably head into town so I can load this up. And, uh... You guys, give me some feedback on what you think about that, okay? Because we don't hear nothing more about that. And there's a reason behind everything when he blessed the younger of the two out of Egypt. And then if you look on the back of that dollar bill, that's the 13. You keep seeing 13, 13, 13. Well, we know there's the 12 tribes, don't we? Well, here we got the 13. And America used to stand behind Israel, okay? It doesn't any longer. Okay, there's something about this. We just need to get our, uh, put our thoughts together on this and see what we come up with. But I feel like, uh, I feel like um, that's got something to do with what's going on here today. Big time. Because we know that pyramid on the $1 bill. <laughs> I've never felt comfortable with it. And then there's a reason why I've, I've always been really studying a lot about Joseph in Egypt. I mean, I felt led to, you know, like there's, I'm like, I'm compelled to learn more about um, Joseph in Egypt. You guys heard me mention it to you before about how uh, he spent seven years in, in the dungeon and seven years of plenty and seven years of uh, famine. And that's what got him out of the dungeon. But anyhow, you guys, let me know what you think about that, okay? Check that out and uh, tell me what you guys think about that, you know? Because uh, I'm going to also upload the uh, link to the video that led me to look at that, okay? About Ephraim, the youngest one. And um, see what you guys, you know, give me a little feedback on that. God bless you guys. I hope and pray that y'all get something out of this message. I know the time's getting very, very short now. We, we have very little time left now. 
Okay? God bless each and every one of you.